Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me and D-Shake here once again, playing as kind of the cool, what we might call, a communist bros. You know, just a couple, oh, yes. you know, culturally Russian dudes, some culturally Chinese dudes, hanging out, having a good time with that thing called communism. So. Yeah, conquering a few small countries along the way. Just uniting China once and for all. To become a global power, as I kill off literally thousands of my own men trying to take out Sin Kiang. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully those planes will help just a little. Oh yeah, you did send me planes. I mean, I, I killed off all their men. They literally have no more manpower. I have like no equipment, yeah. but I still got 50 million manpower. So, oh yeah, I'll get the equipment soon enough. You know, it takes time to get over here. Excuse me. Yeah. So that'd be cool. You guys get low. And D-Shake is having a great time in Finland. A great time. Oh, yes. Their attack buff, a little annoying, but it should be <laughs> over with soon. And then Germany, well, Germany is holding out for now. Yeah. They've lost, well, okay, now they must have been attacking. They've lost 1.3 million, basically. Well, the Allies have lost yeah. 2 million. But the United States is in there, so... Mm, I don't know, Germany. Yeah, we might, we might be helping out Germany today. I don't know. Hold on. I'm still stuck in my stupid war against these Chinese folks. I don't want to be Chinese Chinese. <sighs> oh, don't worry. I have to. I'm still stuck in this war against Finland, too, so. Nothing's happening just yet. Hey, man, if you want to go to war with the Allies now, totally cool. I'll let you do whatever you want. Go at him, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, the only problem I can see is that I don't have a land border with them anywhere, and I don't have a navy, so. <laughs> Might not be, might not be a really active war. That's okay. Yeah. I'll just oh, get military crap. access. Don't get encircled, you bunch of dinguses! Please do not get encircled. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to naval invade Finland to get oh, the no. final victory point. Uh, I took another spot, please. Just give me one victory. One victory. Oh, we cut those guys off in the south. Oh, why did you go over there? Why, my son? Why? I might just be crazy, but road to 56 must change something with supply. Supply seems extra good right now, like everywhere. Or maybe hmm. it's just the Soviet Union. Maybe we have some buff for it or something. Maybe. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I got some land reform. Cult of personality. More stability, better division recovery rate. I'm currently at war. Great, great leap forward. Oh, yes. The great leap forward. Uh, very iconic right there. Yeah. I get a research lot of a go down this way. Oh, yeah. Cult of personality. Every Chinese must worship our great and glorious leader, Mao Zedong, and nothing else. Perfect. <laughs> yes. That's how it's done. Hey, nice job. Hey, there we go. So now you're at peace, right? Yep. Oh. I guess I can send you some help if you would like. It seems like I'm kind of getting mi miracle supply in your country whenever I'm over there, so... Please win. Please win. Are those mountain tiles? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I Actually, I don't have any good mountaineer divisions. I might just try with some normal stuff if I have supply. Otherwise, I'll just stay out of the battle. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I don't want to be stealing your supply. Oh, it's already gone. You can't steal something that's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll investigate and see if I can get whatever supply I was getting in that civil war, too. <gasps> I cut the capital off. Yes! Yes, my son! Oh, yeah. Don't let them win. I can still invite them to my faction, too. No, They're still begging no. me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thir I'm only casually out of 13,000 pieces of artillery, that's all. That's okay, I cut off the capital, that feels so good, cutting him off.
Well, these guys are definitely going to be going to re-education camps when I'm done with them here. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. All the people they've killed off? For what purpose? So we just wanted to united China, that's all. Oh god. Oh, at least their capital's down there now, which is actually very good for us. Because all these guys up here, they're going to go and say, Hey, we've got no food. And I'm going to be like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> And those are just desert tiles down there. Well, at least the capital's in a desert tile. Still some mountains surrounding it. But yeah. Won't be too as bad as that mountain one. It's perfect. No, I don't want Sino-Soviet Resource Survey. Yes, please. Cool, so what's your next move? Uh... I probably, I would want to go after the Allies, but I think we just have to go after Germany. Try to get something out of this peace deal, too, because Germany's losing uh -oh. right uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Oh, I yeah. see a thick Netherlands. Oh, I can't wait for the peace deal. Yeah, you better go to war immediately. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. I, I can go to war in 25 days, I think. 15 days. Oh, so. Nice. Oh, they didn't even give you Bessarabia? Oh, what a bunch of meanies. Nah. Since, well, since Hold on. Oh, Romania some... didn't have it, I didn't get an event. Ah, uh, wow, look at South Africa. Now that's a long boy. Yeah, wow. Uh, I don't believe that was historical, though. I don't know about that one. Um, South Africa, when was the day you owned Tanganyika, Zambia, Kenya, Uganda? Yeah, uh, I really don't know what this mod thinks historical AI is. I'd love to read its history book, wherever it got its information from. <laughs> Look at these divisions. Dying. Perfect. Ah, uh, early heavy ship pull. You know, I'm making, I'm researching all these ships. The only problem is, I can't do anything with them. Bulgaria, well, that's cool. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, game. Can I have, like, a little naval XP as a treat? Please? If you send an attaché to someone, do you get naval XP? I don't know for sure. Hmm. Well, better save my political power then. Yeah. Do you have a naval focus at all? Oh, let me see. Let me double check. I want to build up. I'm, I'm just building up so many, so many uh, civilian factories right now. Oh yeah, you do down there. Establish the supreme command right under special research department. Uh, where is... I'll uh, request Soviet naval assistance in building stuff to get naval dockyards. So, yeah, but that just... Wait. Uh, uh, I guess liberate Tibet. Well, they're already dead. Um, yeah, People's Liberation Navy. That's a whole ten. Better spend it wisely. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Hey, another encirclement. Good job, guys. Finally, thank the Lord nice. we've lost too many men for this. Yeah, congratulations. Finally united. I can be at peace? Very cool. Are you guys yep, I guess position? you can probably start preparing for a little while to go to war with the Raj in Indochina. Yeah. That is a good Did we get Japan's navy? Oh, yeah. 252 ships. That's nice. Nice. I might integrate them and steal their navy. That sounds like a very, very smart decision. And if we go to war with those guys, I'm going to take out Vietnam with the force of a thousand Chinese men. Okay, maybe a million <laughs> Chinese men, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. And Officers Purged is gone just in nice. time for a little skirmish in Europe. <laughs> a small skirmish. Yeah, small skirmish. Let me just deploy 50 new 40 wits and get them all set up. Very nice. What to do with 50 million manpower? Hmm. I get more stability with Mao Zedong, the great chairman? Huh. Ah, oh, Germany, if only Italy didn't betray itself by joining Japan. Yeah. Very bad idea right there. Oh, hold on, I get economic policy. 
Uh, naval equipment experience cost minus 33% for a year. That doesn't help me, man. What the heck, game? <laughs> that doesn't give me any naval XP. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get naval XP when you don't have ships. It's just, yeah, I I've seen a lot of mods that to restrict you from using navy, like if they haven't fixed it completely for their mod, they just don't give you naval experience and huh. no ships, and then you can't make uh, any templates. Yeah. Uh, who do you think I should send my right attaché right? to? I don't think I could send to the U.S., can I? No, they will not accept. The U.K.? No, they say no. France? Hmm. Why don't people like communism? What's wrong with them? <laughs> We're just trying to make a navy. Oh no, I feel bad for Hungary. They're gonna get called into this war and be surrounded on all fronts. Oh, I guess I don't yeah. have to call them in. Yeah. We can be nice. I mean, it's okay. Australia invaded Yugoslavia. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this this is all so cursed. I love historical. <laughs> yeah. Very historical today, guys. This is what really happened. Only wrote to 56 devs know. <laughs> but I can see it with a smile on my face. I have three research slots. Yep. Oh, I get some naval XP there. Nice. Oh, wait, I get plus five. That's not... I need to do see that. See, here in your focus tree, you get plus 25 on establish Supreme Command. Establish Supreme Command? Yeah, bottom right corner down there. If I'm seeing the same focus tree you're seeing. Oh, but that's, that's you have to go fascist for that one. I'm on the oh. left side. Oh, I see. I, see. I need to do the the Soviet cooperation <laughs> uh, so I can get into. Uh, oh, I need to get. I need to go there next, probably institution or organization. I just want to make one yeah. dinky ship so we can get some naval XP. Game, please. Yeah, why do the fascists get all the good Ar army experience and navy experience? Oh I man, I got some over here. I get 25 army XP, 10 air XP, 5 naval XP over this one. Yeah. And another one gets like 5, 10. I get 10 more. <laughs> I get a war goal against the United States as long as I don't own California. I'm... Nice. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway. Hey, do you want me to lower the speed or? Oh no, no, I'm just mass assaulting. They don't have any divisions really to defend. And you broke the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. How dare you? Yep. Now no one's going to be able to trust you. Yep. Uh, it's not too much of a concern when you have as many divisions as I do. I actually don't have too many divisions for the Soviet Union, but, like, Germany doesn't have anything. Man, the last time we left you in charge of a peace deal involving a major nation, it didn't turn out so well. I wonder how it's going to turn out this time. <laughs> yeah, I, I promise it'll be better, hopefully. I'll just try to take Romania. <laughs> for the sake of border gore, I might even give the Allies some stuff that they Oh, crud. It uh, happens uh, once every game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... It's so annoying. At least, at least it's resyncing really quickly. So yeah, it's... I'm glad we don't have like four people here or something like that. Where, Whew. yeah. Hmm. Everyone just. I'm building a perfect utopia in China. If you didn't know, just you know, a perfect <laughs> yeah. utopia. Yes, we just need to integrate the rest of the world into our ideology before we can build our perfect utopia. Exactly. So we're just gonna be doing that. Exactly. Uh, looks like. Germany's reinforcing the line a little bit. I might not be able to go through with my plan of just mass assaulting. Oh, that's all right. I mean, they're kind of holding off the Allies in the Rhine, I guess. But uh, yeah, uh, the Netherlands the more is pretty in there. Actually, yeah. hmm, I got an idea. As soon as we get back in the game, and there we are. Maybe, maybe. And yeah, there he is. Cool. I don't think this is going to help you or help me, but uh, how about an attaché? Oh yes, of course. And if you get any ship sunk, that's totally okay with me as long as I get naval XP. <laughs> yeah. Now I can yeah, see what you're doing. in the Baltics. I guess I could try to do something. They're kind of trapped here because of Denmark. So. Mm. Slovakia immediately issued a diplomatic protest. <laughs> Slovakia. Slovakia. I don't, I don't think you should be worrying what they what yeah. they think. Wow, we got a lot of divisions. 
Are these 40 combat widths, or...? Yeah, they're 40s. Nice. All I ask is maybe put like a like a little like little boat in the Baltic. A little boat. Maybe find oh, yeah, some German convoys. The... Oh, they're on strike force. That's why. Okay, there. They're on patrol. I don't think Hopefully I ever do German... strike force. I always just set them on convoy raid, and they usually end up finding ships all over the place. Oh yeah. Convoy I'm raid. No, I'm no professional with the navy. Oh, it looks like Germany isn't doing anything with their navy though. If they even have a navy. Well, uh, I mean, they once they have nine to twenty-five ships. Once so. they lose Wilhelmshaven. And uh, Hamburg, they have to use the Baltic stuff, probably. Yeah. Come on, do something. Are you using an Air Force, or...? Um, I have some, but, oh, they're not set up. <laughs> I'm like, I, we're I not getting any air. air I think the <laughs> Yeah, the allies are just giving me green air, so I don't even have to worry, really. Nice. And my puppets, too. Like, I think Japan made an air force, so they're, nice. they're managing air for me. The AI air controller. Uh, so we already took out Japan. That being said, we got the balding Japanese guy. Do they still have the focus to go to war with the U.S.? Yeah, but I don't think they'll be able to use war goals, but they'll still do the focus, probably. Um, which, where are they in their focus tree? They're non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Hmm, very useful. Yeah, that seems pretty smart. Considering they're my puppets. Yeah, that seems pretty smart. Secure the Philippines. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Ah, oh, there's that two at Air XP. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't yeah. make any sense. Like, you can get planes without Air XP, but you to get Naval XP, you need Naval XP. Yeah. Oh, Germany's actually attacking me now. I'll just sit back and relax now and let them charge <sighs> in. Oh, man, look at the French. They just got the Frankfurt. Yeah. They moved their entire army onto my front. Nice. They actually have an army. Yeah, well... Wow. Time to walk into Danzig. Aw, oh, yeah. Not even being defended. They have, they're really trying to hold on to the oil in Romania. Well, I, I hope so. That's probably all the fuel they get. Yeah. Try to walk over there. Get to Bucharest. Oh, yeah, you didn't call in Hungary yet, did you? No, I, they, they're, they're going to lose. I only have one division there. Well, we might. I actually might get a border with them, and then I can send some stuff in there to help. Oh man, look at them Dutch. Okay, non-aggression pact with Japan. Very nice. Integrated government. 100 flowers campaign. Hmm. 100 flowers campaign is 350 days. God dang, what the heck? Ow. Wow. Germany will be capitulated by then. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. They're trying to stop us. How much war score? I have 20% war score. That's okay. I have, like, more, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering how things are going, it, it's all I can ask for. There's a little no intel. There's something going on in the Baltic Sea. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't between you and them. Oh yeah, I sunk a German convoy. Nice. <sighs> that didn't give me any naval XP. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm not getting any either. So. Oh, you almost yeah. have an encirclement in Romania. Yeah. They're just uh, they're they're actually reinforcing. I'm gonna get oh, countered. No. Uh, no. Yeah, they have. They have their entire army down there. They have nothing over in Prussia. Well, nice. They have some stuff, but like relatively no nothing. Mm. Eh, anyway, I think it's a fun. I think it's a good time for a vacation over to Berlin. About now. <laughs> Walk right through there. Hopefully, looks like the Allies are doing a good job. I should have done this earlier. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm almost out of manpower. Huh. Better go into a limited conscription. <laughs> a limited or I conscription. Can just stop, or I can just stop training all these divisions. Hmm. Oh, I see you got one guy just, just going straight in. <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna get to Berlin first to make sure things are historical here. <laughs> 1941, you know. Yeah. Now, if you win, how's it, how is the allies are you gonna be duking it out? I don't know. Well, we might. Uh, it, it's probably best to go to war as soon as possible. I'll probably just let um, the U.S. and U.K. bring all their divisions back home and then try to pull the around Imagino, but actually be successful or something. I don't know. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how things shape out. Let's see. I am out of guns, but when am I not? All I'm building are just civilian factories right now. I'm really trying to push up my nate my army to get better and better and better. Okay, yeah, Germany's reinforcing the north. They don't like the idea of me walking into Berlin. <laughs> no. What? Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Ooh, we might actually encircle a medium tank, huh? Very nice. Oh. Very close to encircling them in Bessarabia. Ah, oh, they had the option of giving you that, but they chose poorly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just can't keep... The AI is just being too smart with this in circle. Uh, oh wait, did we get Berlin? Yeah, yep. all of Berlin. <laughs> we'll just sit in there. Uh, it's not even a fort. Too bad, huh? It would have been fun if that was like a level 10 fort or something. <laughs> oh man, you got encircled in Berlin. Four. Nice. And we'll just sit there and chill for a little while. Oh wow, the Netherlands and France are definitely pushing in now. Yeah. I wonder if this is, I doubt it's scripted to be like an East and West Germany type of situation. But you never know. Yeah, because Vanilla has that weird Jeez, mechanic where it splits the two, but... The Allies have lost over five million. God dang, son. Yeah, good job, Allies. Just keep, just keep giving it away. It makes it easier for our future war with them very soon. Man, they're crazy. Can't wait for a okay. whole five naval XP. It's time to just battle plan. I need to just try to get some more army experience from the allies. Are you just doing mass assault or something now, or are you... yeah? Cool. We'll see. I'll stop if it... I'll stop it if it goes badly. But uh, I, I just want to get a little more war participation. Yeah. Sen, I've sent Chen Dong to help you out with half strength divisions. <laughs> oh wait. Hmm. Okay, we get I just got the decision to split East and West Germany and Poland. Hmm. hmm. I'll do it because we we don't have enough war score for it to matter too much. Nice. That's probably the best option cuz uh, if it was just divided any other way, they probably could take all of Germany with their combined war score. You know? mm -hmm. Makes yeah, sense. We're slowly getting up there. Oh no, oops. Yeah, Hungary is done for. <laughs> oh, I need at least 10 naval XP to get a ship. Ah! Why, game? Yeah, Why? <sighs> Yeah, they're defending really well in the south, but in the north, they're just, um, they're just losing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, you finally got that encircling in Bessarabia. Very nice. Yes, finishing it up. And we're trying to break the Berlin encirclement. 
I'm surprised you're still holding out that well. Oh yeah, I, I had to go last stand in there. I was about to get kicked out. <laughs> Come on, let's take Warsaw for the Soviets. You know it's bad when the Chinese try to show up to help liberate Warsaw. <laughs> oh yeah, that, this is my favorite alt, alt history, the Chinese liberating Warsaw. Yeah, this is... Kind of nuts, and I kind of like it nuts. Let's see. Come on, you Germany guys. Germany is sixty-six percent of the way there wow, to capitulating. That's, that's kind of surprising, since well, most of Germany, well, I guess, has taken yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, they still have Prague, Munich, and Vienna. That's probably what's keeping them surviving. Nice. There goes Warsaw. Oh yes, and this mass assault is actually helping a lot with war participation. I'm almost 33 percent. So. Nice. nice. The, I mean, the, war, the more casualties you take, the bigger your war score. I think so. <laughs> exactly. We have a bit of expendable manpower, so we're fine. Well, you and me both, son. If, oh my God. Oh, yeah, and if all else fails, if I start wasting it all, I can just send all my equipment to you, to, so you can mobilize your men instead. Just request garrison support to any be in uh, your faction. Actually. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Good to oh wait a going. second. I'm gonna say no well, for now, just because I have my volunteers here, and the war's gonna be over that's very true, soon. Yeah. So. I, yeah, that's true, and um, I don't know if it, you just being in my faction removes volunteers, but yeah. Just a little sign that we're willing to cooperate, that's all. Maybe. I might be doing Soviet cooperation. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh no. Come on, guys. We can win this one. You know one. things are going well when you're piercing their medium tanks with one division. Nice. Very nice. Uh, well, let's convert all these guys over. I have negative one... Yeah. Infantry equipment available, huh? Huh. News to me. That's an oddly specific number. Do you need anything? I have like 10,000 artillery and 100,000 guns. I mean, I'm only out 45,000 guns, 13,000 artillery. That's, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all. Just a slight deficit. Slight. We don't, we don't tell you the real production deficit. Not here in the PRC. Oh, yes, of course. Oh my gosh, I get almost two political power a day. God dang, Mal, I love you. I love you. Oh, now you're beating me. Nah. Holy cow. Global order. Okay, we've met up with the democracies of the world, kind of by Evil. Berlin. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Friends for now, not for long. We have mutual interests. For now. Yes, for now. Go ahead and hold, guys. Don't worry about it. Get some planning. What? What? Le hold on. What land do doctrine did I go down? I haven't gone down single one yet. Oh no. I'm on the first level of mass assault. No wonder I'm not winning. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh, I love it so much. Isn't that just? Beachy. Oh well, that's okay. First Ministry of where did I put that? First Ministry of Machine Building. Yes, I get more fighter agility and speed. Okay, Yugoslavia, why do you care that we gave them an attaché? Seriously, like, you're you're dying probably soon. Well, Italy's invaded Albania pretty well. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's actually really good. They just, all they had to do was turn democratic for that to happen. Wait, Poland dissolves its faction. Finally, Poland, it's about time. Chinese revolutionaries who sympathize with their cause have made a decision to join their state with ours. Um, I don't know about what you're thinking, game, but um, uh, we already won the Civil War. <laughs> maybe is it Taiwan? No, they're still there. They're still China. Uh, it's, it's weird. Hey, man. I'll, I'll gladly take you. Take you along for the ride. Go, go, go. Come on, go. Cut him off at Kiel's. Oh, yeah. Chen Dong, you're doing a great job. We Hopefully did it. the allies take Vienna soon. Oh, oh never mind. There, there we go. Oh. There we go. You know what? How about if we end the episode here and then in the next one we'll show everyone what the peace deal is like. Oh yeah, that sounds perfect. Cool. And I think I started this one? Yeah, I think I did. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like for maybe me, maybe me. Definitely for D-Shaky. And by the time you're probably yeah. this deep in our series... You're probably already subscribers, so thanks for subscribing, and if you haven't, consider doing so. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I, and we will both see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.